Good evening, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Cambodia Global Dialogue of Southeast Asia TV. Uh, uh, tonight uh, we will be discussing uh, on special economic zone, and I have a good friend, somebody who's been uh, here for quite a while, working in the industry, uh, Sam. Uh, Sam, why don't I give you a, a floor and you introduce yourself a bit uh, to the audience before sure. we jump into the subject? Yeah. Okay. So uh, my name is Sam Poe. I'm uh, um, the uh, um, senior partner for Radius Management Consulting Firms. I've been working in a uh, different industry in Cambodia. So uh, uh, today, I, you know, I'm, I'm very delighted and honored to share my experience, uh, specifically for a special economic zone. Well, how long have you been in Cambodia, Sam? Now it's for, I've been here for eight years now. So eight years straight, eight right? Eight years straight, yes. Yeah. So uh, still, I really enjoy it. Yeah. Really Cambodian it. born? Yes, was <laughs> born in Batamong, grew up in Canada, so uh, I'm ah. glad to be back here. Okay. You know, right. To share my experiences. Yeah. So, uh, but basically, you know, we, we're going to talk to a, a subject that is very dear uh, mm -hmm. uh, to me, particularly when it comes to investment because uh, mm -hmm. we go way back in 1994 when mm -hmm. we have uh, the first uh, investment law mm -hmm. I was part of the process at that time mm -hmm. 94 that's a long time that's that was time, like yeah. 25 mm -hmm. years ago yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so many things have changed mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people talk about special economic zone a lot of Cambodian talk a lot about that uh, a lot of them jump in into the investment, but not many people understand what does it take to have a successful special economic zone. Mm -hmm. Okay. W w what's your view on that? Well, uh, my personal view on the special economic zone, uh, you know, it's uh, first, it's not a real estate uh, business that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, special economic zone is special economic zone. Um, other countries call it free trade zone, mm. industrial zone, industrial park. So they all the same thing, mm. have the same functionality. Mm. But uh, to be successful in a special economic zone, um, um, you have to have value added services mm. built into your business model, right? Um, infrastructure cost is one of the major costs, right? Mm. Um, for any 50 hectares, uh, as he said. That's a minimum. Minimum. Minimum uh, yeah. legal requirement, uh, right? 50 hectares. Mm. So uh, 50 hectares, uh, special uh, economic zone can cost, the infrastructure can cost you between 10 to $15 million mm. just to build a good infrastructure, mm. right? And uh, the, the, the only disadvantage is that uh, special economic zone, the revenue is very lumpy, mm. very lumpy. One, you lease a lot for 50 year, your revenue mm. dry up. Mm -hmm. Right, but so, but uh, Sam, before we dwell to that, right? How many economic zone we have in Cambodia now? I think based on our research uh, for the past six months, uh, we believe it is around forty uh, special economic zones spread across Cambodia. Right, well, yeah, Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh, we have around two. Okay, around and two, and then Sihanouk Will is one of the Sihanouk Will and Swai Rieng uh, account for fifty percent. Oh yeah, 50 yeah, fifty percent. Not the not not in uh, the Thai border. No, Thai border is only uh, one team in uh, two or three. I right? right. So, uh, but uh, Swai Rieng is around twelve mm. uh, special economic zone in uh, Swai Rieng and eleven or twelve in Sihanouk Will. What 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 drive the two location? Uh, of course, the port is is a yeah, main it's a seaport, you know, seaports and close to the um, borders. Mm. You know, it's a lot of a uh, uh, shipment in and out border. I mm. mean, it's like uh, oh, you mean you on the Bavet, right? On the Bavet, you know, be, because a lot of company can ship the products through Vietnam. Mm. You know, because they have a big international seaport there. Okay. See, New Wales uh -huh. also have international okay. seaports, and there, that's why I drive a lot of in the border. So, but so, so <laughs> logistic matter big time for big time for for yeah. for the zone. In Bavat, it's more driven by the the port. Uh, is that Kai Map? Kai Map uh, port. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. You know, logistics. Uh, logistics is one of the major uh, mm. contributing costs for manufacturing. I mean, overall, Cambodia spend like around two billion dollars for mm. product shipping out of uh, in the country, right? From, from the zone. Yeah. It's, uh, within the zone and outside the zone, mm. but the, the logistics cost around two mm. billion dollars a year. I'm surprised. Why not so much? Uh, on on the Poi Pad, uh, Min Chai side, uh, Thai border. Yeah. Um, what what why why uh, some reluctance? There's a lot of a. Uh, I think there there's a lot of a uh, 
uh, special economic zone in Thailand as well. Ah, right? okay. So there's a lot of them. So a lot. So they're already on the other the side, other side of the border. Of the, okay. the other side, you, you see Bangkok and mm, outside okay. Bangkok, a lot of special economic zone. Mm. Um, but uh, in the past seven year, I mm. seen uh, some uh, special economic zone still to develop in the uh, Poi Pet, you okay. know, on the Thai okay. border. You know, so uh, which is a good sign. It's I think we need the uh, zones right yes. for 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 closer to the border. Yes, yes. Yeah, we need uh, we need more special economic zone. Yeah, because the, the way I see now, uh, Cambodia is part of the uh, the Mekong mm -hmm. uh, subregion. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a decade earlier, ADB was mentioning the mm -hmm. Greater Mekong subregion, right? mm -hmm. the Greater GMS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the recent last 10 years or so, there's a, a strong, uh, I would say, recognition mm -hmm. of, because the greater Mekong sub-region includes southern China. But then you have the Mekong mm -hmm. region itself, which is the five country. Yeah. Cambodia, Laos, Laos. Thailand, Vietnam, yes. and Myanmar, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they see, at least from uh, the developed uh, country perspective, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. they come to invest, mm -hmm. they see Cambodia, not as Cambodia, but you know, uh, linked to Thailand, yes. so part of that uh, supply chain. You, you, supply you, chain. You're talking about supply, supply chain. chain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Integrated supply chains in the, within the Sub Mekong region. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, so on on that. Uh, so we have big concentration in Sinovil mm -hmm. and Swai Rien. Mm -hmm. Some in Phnom Penh, but there's a lot of uh, industry in Phnom Penh. I'm surprised only two. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you know, it's close to sixty percent of manufacturing hmm. concentrate within uh, sixty kilometer radius of Phnom Penh, right? Okay, but, but not in the zone. Not in the zone, uh, because a lot of a uh, garment factory, which yes. is, is they located outside the zone. Okay, right? okay. Um, like Phnom Penh is that is one of them is one of the biggest. Uh, hmm. uh, it's a, probably it's the biggest one in in Cambodia, hmm. right? Um, there's a lot of manufacturing inside of a. Uh, of a special economic zone mm. too, um, but uh, Phnom Penh is uh, there's only two special mm. economic zone, right? Mm. And uh, but we have a lot of manufacturing. Yes, but what? Why? Why some industry move in to the zone, and why other are not moving in? What? What's a differentiating factor? Well, uh, I mean the 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 incentive. The, the benefit is the incentive of uh, tax incentive. Mm. But uh, the garment industry is a special case, right? Mm. Um, it doesn't matter if you operate inside or outside special economic zone, you still, uh, you still uh, benefit. benefit the same incentive, okay. right? Incentive. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of a garment factory it's operating outside the zone. Yes. You know, uh, so they, but they still have the same tax benefit yes. okay. Okay. as uh, uh, those who operate inside the zone. Yeah, and, and I would say maybe for the garment industry, Access to labor matter, mm -hmm. so they they can't be all concentrated in one place because harder to ship to transport the worker every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. So so they're more driven to where there are more population uh, labor force, right? So that could be one of the reason. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a investor criteria. One of the investor criteria is the labor force concentration. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so or how many uh, worker potentially uh, living around the. Uh, the uh, the uh, the manufacturing. Yes. I think one of the investor always uh, look at the labors mm. and infrastructure. Yeah. Right. So I think Phnom Penh around Phnom Penh the infrastructure is a lot better. Right. Yes. Uh, there's labors, um, train labors. Mm. So we're you know the the funny part that manufacturing wants to op uh, operate close to an enemy manufacturing. Mm. So the because a lot easier to get train labor. Yeah, you know, so share train labor, tra transportation. Share so, or you snap. You can snap. Yeah, I yeah. mean that's one. I mean anywhere, yeah, anywhere yeah, you yeah, want yeah. to operate close to auto manufacturing, so you can, you can snap some of the in the workers yeah. from other industry. Yeah. Right? But 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 I, I think for, it's understandable for the garment industry because they don't require much in mm -hmm. terms of infrastructure, mm -hmm. because yes. it's warehouse mm -hmm. access to electricity. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then labor because they are just sewing, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So well, of course, for like factory that produce jean, they need access to washing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, uh, so uh, more complicated uh, investment for, to protect the environment, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, aside from that, uh, I don't think they they need much like a, a, a real manufacturing per yeah. se, right? 
Yeah, it's our uh, garments are very basic in terms of our technology. Yeah. In terms of knowledge base, right? Um, you don't need a lot of, uh, of uh, high skill laborers mm. to do it because a lot of rep repetitive, mm. a lot of repetitive okay. Uh, okay. tasks on yes, a daily yes. basis, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so now let's go back to the economic zone. Um, if the garment industry are not incentivized to get there, mm -hmm. who are the industry currently that populate? Say, for example, the Phnom Penh economic zone, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, what type? Japanese company, uh, what type of industry? I think within the especially uh, Phnom Penh, as you said, um, there's a high level of Japanese concentrations, mm. uh, manufacturing in there, probably 50% of manufacturing operate inside there are owned by Japanese. And, uh, you know, it's ranging from electronics mm. to uh, plastic molding injection to packaging. Uh, you know, it's not just a garment, right? Sam, let's go back to the, the zone. So the Japanese are into manufacturing, mm -hmm. but light manufacturing, spare part, component, electronics, what are they? I think mostly these are light to medium manufacturing, okay. right? Because they produce some uh, like high-end electronic component as well. As well. I see. So it's not just the basic, basic manufacturing hmm. uh, products. Um, what, 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 give, give me some example. It, it, it's like a uh, hard drive, okay. right? Uh, hard drives and uh, um, memory chips, right? I uh, see. This is the stuff that very sensitive uh, components that, mm. uh, that they produce. Uh, ball bearing. Ball bearing, yeah. yeah. And uh, in uh, pipette, they do all the car seat joysticks and all that. So it, it's not just the, you know, it's just not the, mm. the basic stuff. Uh, I see. So, so I would say, uh, electronic uh, uh, car component as well. Electric uh, electronic car component, I think, is coming right, mm -hmm. and there uh, is a lot of precision uh, precision, yeah, precision yeah. machinery need. Uh, yeah, need, uh, there's a lot of the, a lot of the, the higher electronic component. Mm. You use more mm. machine precision mm. machine, right? Well, do 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 you see a differentiation between Japanese uh, investment into uh, high end manufacturing? versus Chinese uh, manufacturing, are they, are the Chinese mostly into garment footwear or also moving into some, uh, you know, manufacturing per se? Yeah, I think the the, gar or the Chinese more focus on the uh, the garments. Uh, uh, labor again, intensive. La labor intensive, yes, yeah, okay. the Japanese, they, I think, they, I can see them moving into more in the uh, auto parts. I see. And, and electronics uh, sectors. Yeah. Um, so, which is good that, uh, that you know, we want to um, to have more of this manufacturing is available because uh, uh, the good thing about electronic manufacturing is that uh, you require higher skill labor, mm. engineering, uh, quality insurance, yes. um, programmer, mm. and all this stuff, right? So uh, it's it's good for to build your the, uh, your human capital mm. when you have this uh, electronics or auto parts mm. because you need more technical people. Yes. Whereas the garment, you don't need a lot of high skill technical mm -hmm. people so so the japanese uh, sort of like have in-house capacity building or they, they they bring from outside they they normally bring the uh, the technical uh, mm -hmm. from the outside mm -hmm. and uh, they have their own in-house trainings right okay. the japanese they, they they have they like everything controls in house right yes, uh, yes. Um, starting with training, quality control, mm. uh, human resource capacity building. Mm. Normally, they do a lot of stuff in house, right? Yes, yes. Uh, so they have a system where you know where where they train people, mm. you know, um, which is, is good. Mm. So, so, so in a way, uh, Cambodian people that work there will have a better chance uh, to uh, move up the the value chain. Yes, they are because they are trained. Well, mm. they will train, you know, because uh, I think the Japanese are. Focus more on training. Mm. Uh, they spend monies on training. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, which is, I believe, it's very, very important for mm. manufacturing because training is uh, should be uh, mm. should be a mandatory. Yeah. Because for because uh, because the technologies update yes. constantly, right? Okay. Okay. You know, so uh, that's why why it's good to have uh, people train mm. constantly doing even the new software releases, mm. uh, mechanical designs mm. uh, modify to uh, new new designs. So. In the electronics or auto parts, they all have new releases of software, so okay. people have to keep update with that, right? Where clothing, you, you know, it's not a lot of software releases yes, yes, and yes. all that stuff, right? So, which is, I think, it's good for capacity building. Yeah, because uh, the way I see now, uh, in the car automobile industry, <laughs> Thailand is 
is the hub there. I mean, mm -hmm. let's be real. Mm -hmm. Let's not mm -hmm. have an illusion mm -hmm. that uh, if we're moving to Cambodia, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Vietnam is start to move into a uh, car mm -hmm. assembly now, mm -hmm. you know, or mm -hmm. maybe more, more than assembly. Mm -hmm. uh, in Cambodia, we have some assembly, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I, not that I'm aware of, right? Yeah. Um, but we have basic car assemblies, like yeah. uh, mostly on the, uh, uh, you know, like like I mentioned earlier, like yeah. the joysticks, yes. okay. uh, the seats, uh, okay. more like okay. semi-finished products. Yeah, and then and they, they ship to Thailand into, for uh, full production. For, 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 for full, full assembly. I see. Okay. Yeah, because the, <coughs> the whole, uh, because the uh, car manufacturing is very complex. Yes. And it's a lot, it, it requires a lot of automation. Mm. Uh, to do uh, car manufacturing assembly line, and yes. they need big, big space. Big space, yeah. 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 But uh, to me, it's important that uh, we start somewhere. Exactly. We, we, we're part of the it's supply a, chain. Absolutely. Now we have three components, four components, mm -hmm. eventually 10, eventually mm -hmm. 20. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so part of the supply chain is important. Uh, and the, the way I see is that, uh, again, I'm looking at the two major investors, which is uh, Japan and China. Mm -hmm. uh, Cambodia is part of this larger regional supply chain. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that the Ministry of Public Work and Transport is mm -hmm. now working on on the National Transport and mm -hmm. uh, Logistic Master mm -hmm. Plan. Mm -hmm. And in that strategy, which which uh, in that master plan, which I hope will be adopted very soon, mm -hmm. you know clearly mm -hmm. the issue of uh, linking Cambodia mm -hmm. to the subregion, mm -hmm. which is the supply chain per mm -hmm. se, mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. Southern Vietnam on on the on the lower part, mm -hmm. northern I mean southern Thailand mm -hmm. on the other side, and Cambodia is in mm -hmm. the middle. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's the infrastructure. It's going to be good for industry development infrastructure. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, uh, with the expressway is coming along. Um, this will help uh, improve because manufacturing. You have to be very efficient, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when you integrate it, you know, to the regional supply chains, everything mm -hmm. have to be very efficient. So, mm -hmm. with all the new infrastructures in place, that's going to help the boost mm -hmm. the industrial development mm -hmm. process. Okay, you know, so which is great news for mm -hmm. for Cambodia. Well, so okay, so we 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 spoke quite a bit about the the, the larger macro mm -hmm. regional mm -hmm. uh, driver. Uh, let's come into uh, inside the zone, mm -hmm. so it's more micro mm -hmm. uh, driver. Mm -hmm. what, what are the lessons learned that Cambodia for the last 10 years or so of having a special economic zone, sub-decree, uh, having some zones, some work, some didn't work, what are the, the lessons learned and what does it take to have more successful Special economic zone. Yeah. Well, I, I think uh, each zone has to be unique, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, because you cannot be, you know, you you cannot have the same uh, functionality or the same features as other zone. You have to be mm -hmm. uniqueness, right? It has to be uniqueness. And in terms of uh, features, right? Um, uh, there's features and benefits, right? Um, you know, the the, uh, the feature you have to be in uniqueness. And I have to say that the special economic zone is not a real estate. You know, mm. it's it's an investment. Mm. Uh, when you sell it to uh, uh, investor, you sell it your your investment package, right? Mm. Which is include the feature and the benefit of your of your zones, right? Mm. And and the benefits such as tax incentive. So mm. why should they invest in Cambodia? And the second step would be why should they invest in your zones, right? Mm. So this is a you sell an investment package mm. to uh, to uh, to to investor, right? Mm. So uh, there, it's not a real estate uh, property. Mm. Uh, it's an industrial complex, and uh, you know revenue. Uh, it's a uh, one year one you have your revenues uh, collected. For mm. fifty years, you finish, mm. right? Oh. You, you know, so, so you don't have any um, regular revenue stream mm. to support your operation. Uh, most of the but 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 how about the 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 annual uh, lease rental? Uh, the you know the maintenance fee that mm. they collect from the manufacturing is very very small amount, like five cent per square meter, right? Oh. So it, it is it's insufficient to support the operation, mm. right? Um, the most uh, you have to create value-added services, mm. right? Like uh, like, like uh, uh, factory rentals. Okay. Uh, f factory rentals, uh, different sizes, small, mm. medium, and large sizes, mm. and, and with short-term, long-term, or medium 
terms, right? Okay. Because uh, factory rental will allow you to generate a, a constant cash revenue, flow. cash flow, right? Yeah, yeah. Cash flow. Mm. But to build a factory, uh, it costs a lot of money too, mm. right? Mm. But you know, you can collect uh, factory rental three dollars. Fifty cent to five dollar per square meter inside the zone, right? So, uh, so very, very good. And uh, compared to outside, you only can do two dollars per square meters, right? Mm -hmm. But a factory rental is keys, right? Yeah. Um, for revenues, uh, for to collect revenue on a, on a monthly basis. Without that, uh, you cannot rely on maintenance, uh, mm -hmm. maintenance fee, right? Okay, okay. Well, but before you get to there, right? And that's why. Perhaps uh, some of the local businessmen who jump into the SEZ investment did not realize is the upfront cost of putting the infrastructure, yeah. the road, mm -hmm. the sewage, mm -hmm. the electricity, mm -hmm. uh, what else? Yeah. The, the, the upfront cost is, has to be done first, right? The, the road, the sewer, the mm. water treatment system, the mm. hydro you know, hydro lines uh, need to be... That's $15 million upfront already, uh, right? That's a $15 million cost uh, and to have a good infrastructure inside. Mm. And, uh, but some zone, they say, well, until someone invests first, they build the infrastructure. Okay. The investor perspective say, well, until I see infrastructure before I invest, right? Mm. So Chicken and egg. Chicken and egg. So, uh, yeah. but... In reality, yes, the uh, zone operator need to have a f infrastructure in place first mm. before they can attract mm. investors, right? So right. what what you're saying is that uh, if you have uh, some land and some money is not adequate. No, no. no. You you gotta have a deep deep pocket. Yeah, because you you have to think that the, uh, the this big investor when they come into the zone they concern about the environmental yes. issue, okay. right? It's very uh, important. Yeah, the, and then yeah. the the uh, employee well uh, well being, right? Yes. Logistics, yeah. access, mm. right? Mm. Infrastructure. Yes. Um. So the the the, the so 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 not with quality yeah. matter. Quality is matters. It's not just like you say. It's mm. not. Just chop, chop, chop the land. Fifty hectare is one hectare for you, one hectare no, for me. No, no, it's not. No, it's, it's not like that. It's you, 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 you have to have space for mm -hmm. uh, living space, quality living, living space. space. Exactly. If, if the worker are there, yeah. you yeah. gotta have some palm. You gotta have mm -hmm. some walking area. But mm -hmm. foremost, I, I like uh, uh, the way that you stress on environment. Environment. We cannot purpose. just pollute. No. You know no. to. Uh, discharge to local river stream that sort of thing yeah. and this costs money exactly because you know because investor when they set up manufacturing they have to comply mm. with their customer as well right yes. customer require them to have build a factory where before they purchase make sure there's no environmental yes. violation yes. right so where they're going to ask where you release your 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 waters dirty yes. water right yes. uh contaminated water yes. so they, they 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 also have to meet their customer requirement as well mm. not yes. you know even that's why uh they have to have a good infrastructure yeah. in place you, you see in in i'm just talking about the, the garment industry and mm -hmm. footwear for example mm -hmm which use quite a chemical and uh, the mm -hmm. garment all this gene that you see mm -hmm. you know uh, lightly I uh, would say light color mm -hmm. wash out mm -hmm. these are all chemical it's all chemical right yeah and I was talking to the big brand they say they have to do very stringent due diligence mm -hmm. on their contractor mm -hmm. because they don't want one day mm -hmm. to see on the news you know uh, some local villager mm -hmm. complaining, it affect their share mm -hmm. price, mm -hmm. and it make them look bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, zone operator need to understand their immediate clients, and they, they need to understand their client clients yes. as well, right? Mm -hmm. And then consumers, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, when when they develop a zone, it's not as simple as uh, you know here fifty hectares, you know, set up your manufacturing. Um, you might attract some investor, right? Mm. But the uh, most big brand, mm. like the one that have a, a uh, special economic zone with with established, well established mm. infrastructure, mm. Um, you know, uh, that meet environmental mm. uh, requirements, uh, because they have to answer to the customers too. Mm. So mm -hmm. very, very, very important. Which is a lot of you know. It's, uh, it's not as easy, right? Mm. It's not as easy because uh, the real estate side, you're dealing with the average consumers. Yes. yes, yes. Uh, the special economic you know, zone, you're dealing with a sophisticated investor, mm. manufacturer, mm. right? And you sell investment package. Mm. You don't sell one lot, 
a piece of land, right? Yes. So this is, you know, and the decision-making process for investor to invest in special economic zone, it could take up to one year to two years before mm. they make a decision to invest, yes. right? Whereas the real estate piece, the family can make a decision. Uh, for those big company, they have to go through their feasible study, and then have to go through the board of directors mm. for approvals and all that. So the timeline is very, very could be up to you know some ideal, but one customer is taking mm. almost two years mm. before exactly. they make a decision exactly. to invest, right? So, so it's a long haul. It's a long it's haul. A long it's long not haul. easy, you know. If you think it's an easy, I mean, you have to think twice because uh, you're dealing with a complex, sophisticated uh, uh, investor mm. because they have to make a decision why they relocate some of their production into Cambodia, mm. right? Uh, mm. is based on product life cycle management, right? Uh, what product is some product approaching certain life stage. Uh, so they have to move that. Mm. Uh, so it, it, behind the scene, there's a lot of work, you mm. know, because when you're, you're, you're moving your production to another country, mm. it, it's not as simple. Mm. It has to be strategic. The process, the supply chain has to, uh, you know, to be a, a cost benefit for them, right? Mm. Um, mm. So. That's why I say it's not a real estate business. <laughs> so, so l let me recap, right? Infrastructure matter. You better have a deep pocket exactly. to uh, to invest upfront. You yeah. know, uh, and now in the context of this uh, UN uh, global agenda for mm. sustainable development, mm -hmm. uh, the, the 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 focus of the country mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to meet the the SDG mm -hmm. is also very important. Not exactly. just growth. No. We want quality growth. Mm -hmm. You know, and for the government, we don't want to have the side effect of having to deal, mm -hmm. you know, uh, with pollution later on, which will defeat the whole purpose exactly. of uh, of investment. I mm -hmm. mean, if if you have uh, high growth, but then uh, the state have to end up paying for, you know, uh, treating health, mm -hmm. uh, health um, worker mm -hmm. who are affected by uh, the the pollution. Exactly. You know, uh, it defeat the whole purpose, yeah. right? Yeah. It, it wash out. So uh, environment matter, uh, knowledge of the industry matter. Very very know? very important knowledge yes, of uh, the industry. And this is probably a weak link here, mm -hmm. because uh, Cambodia, uh, they 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 may have money, they may have ideas. But knowledge and uh, expertise uh, matter quite yeah. a bit here. Yeah, sizes does not matter. Sizes, I mean, like, uh, you know, to have a 500 hectare special economic zone, uh, it, it's not for me. It's a lesson learned that the size doesn't matter mm. because uh, you know if you build a 500 hectare special economic zone, you have all the best infrastructure, but mm. you have to understand that. Outside the zone, there's mm. infrastructure to support your your your, your activity, right? Ah. So, so the best I think uh, on the the best side for special economics between fifty to one hundred hectares, mm. and you just have to spread across mm. uh, the region, right? Because otherwise you you got congested. So 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 linkage with the local reality. Yeah, exactly. Spread across, you know, mm. link it with the reality, with the, with the, uh, the, with community. the community, communities yeah, yeah. and all okay. that, right? So okay. to avoid any congestions, mm. right, if you build one big, big mm. uh, uh, mm. special economic zone, so, uh, yeah, yeah it's, and then you will experience the congestion. With uh, the, the outside, you know, you can have the best infrastructures inside, but outside, mm. how are you going to support that? Okay. So, 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 so again, back to the quality, quality, quality of uh, of life, because mm -hmm. uh, you you mentioned about they have to think holistically, right? Mm -hmm. If I work for a Japanese company mm -hmm. in Thailand mm -hmm. or in Malaysia, mm -hmm. to relocate, the company may relocate, mm -hmm. but am I willing? To relocate if the quality of life in that particular zone is not there, yeah, I would be reluctant. Exactly. To move, right? Yeah, I mean, um, one of the major concerns mm. uh, for investor, big investor, they worry about the quality of their executive mm. because uh, if the quality of life is not there, right? Mm. That's one of the want to know, uh, you know, not just the yes. infrastructure yes. but the entertainment, yeah. the lifestyles, mm. and everything. Because all right, that's a good place yeah. to to stop. Yeah. When we come back, we will look at the the soft infrastructure because yeah, exactly. we we spoke quite a bit about the hard yeah. infrastructure yeah. and the policy in the first part. But let's move to the soft infrastructure sure. later okay. on. Sam, let's let's focus on the soft infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, yes, the investor have to think about relocating to the country. They mm -hmm. look at the investment. 
uh, incentive, the fiscal incentive, uh, or sort of policy, mm -hmm. macro policy. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, who run the factory? Is the executive. Exactly. Is the CFO, exactly. the COO, is mm -hmm. the general manager. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What, what, what is your lesson learned so far? Yeah, it's uh, it's that's why it's a lot of you see a lot of special economic you know, zone. It's uh, it's um, operate close to the border, mm. right? Um, so they can go to either Thailand, but is some executive or probably uh, in 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 in, in Poi mm. They uh, you know they come to work in the morning and then go back to uh, to Thailand mm. in the after, you know in the late afternoon. Is that right? So. Uh, the the soft infrastructure is very important because a lot of executive uh, they need a place to stay right mm -hmm. um, so they're looking at uh, you know um, their their accommodation mm -hmm. um, health care right health care and then the other thing is their family mm -hmm. if they move to uh, work here mm -hmm. they they need to have a good place for their family as mm -hmm. well right um, so uh, so they only, they they're not only just looking at the um, hard infrastructure, but the soft infrastructure for the 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 executive as mm -hmm. well, right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you know in, you know that's why you say in 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 Sinu well mm -hmm. because there you know it's a bigger city in Phnom Penh, so that's a lot of people mm -hmm. are concentrated in Phnom Penh mm -hmm. because uh, one of the you know one of the thing is uh, the executive. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I I I I can share you the the perspective. Uh, that I have learned from the, the mm -hmm. Japanese investment, mm -hmm. you know, for 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 nearly two decades, they've been investing in infrastructure here mm -hmm. before they were ready to send a signal to their private sector mm -hmm. to come. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, a few years ago, ANA fl uh, flew direct, mm -hmm. but it took several years mm -hmm. before they decide to fly direct. Mm -hmm. Now you see, mm -hmm. with this daily direct flight. What happened in Phnom Penh? There's over 200 food and beverage, mm -hmm. Japanese food and beverage establishment, right? Mm -hmm. Quality mm -hmm. supply. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. they, daily fresh sashimi mm -hmm. flown from Tokyo mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They have their own hospital, yeah. Sunrise Hospital. Yes, yeah, Japanese very important. doctor. Yeah. High end quality, as good as any, you know, uh, I would say medical facility anywhere around the world, right? Mm -hmm. A bit small, but to meet the market yeah. demand, right? Mm -hmm. uh, why do you think Eon Mall is thriving? Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. building the third one. Mm -hmm. You know, you see the first two is packed every day. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Quality product Products. from Japan. Yeah. And who do you see in daytime mm -hmm. when their husband work in, in the economic zone? Mm -hmm. Their family, their wife. Yeah, exactly. Now the international school, Japanese international school yeah. for the kids. Yeah, yeah. So it's very important that they, we have to have all the soft infrastructures in place to support the family and the key personnel, the executive who work relocate to Cambodia to mm. works. Mm. You know, like healthcare is one very very important. Foods, yes. entertainments, and all this. Yes. Eager, you know, um. So, so this is one of the challenge because otherwise you cannot retain mm. the executive, yes. right? Because uh, it can be a turnover. You know. Sam, I forgot to add one thing. The direct flight to Japan is more the supply chain, everything, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you see in the morning flight and the evening flight, mm -hmm. Thai Airway, Asia Air, Bangkok Airway, mm -hmm. you know, Royal Uncle mm -hmm. to Bangkok. Mm -hmm. A lot of Japanese. Yes, a lot of Japanese. You know, Fridays, it, yeah. You know, even the, the uh, Japanese, they can fly from Bangkok to Siem Reap. Yes. And then they can drive back to um, to Poi Pet, right? Yes. As within uh, two hours, they mm. can hit the uh, the uh, the factory facility yes. Yes. in in Poi Pet, which is good. Or they can fly to Phnom Penh directly, mm. right? And then, and then go Phnom Penh economic go, zone. Yeah. Or now they can fly to see in a well. To see in a well. Well, so it's perfect. So uh, I think yeah. <laughs> it boils down to yeah. connectivity. Connectivity at its it, best. It is. It, it's good for executive to travel, right? Yeah. Uh, because. Uh, Last month, I arranged the executive to uh, to look at the special economic zone, but he was in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, right? mm. and then he flew from um, Ho Chi Minh City mm. to Siem Reap. Yeah, and then uh, we drove from Siem Reap to the special economic zone mm. in Poi Pet, right? Mm. It's very it, it, it saves so much time. So, yeah, you know. Well, I, I and that's why I would say not many people, not many Cambodians realize that we, we sort of take for granted. Uh, 
Cambodia is strategically located in between, in a sub-region, mm -hmm. dynamic sub-region, mm -hmm. which according to many analysts, they say we are one of the growth center, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. in, in the world. Mm -hmm. ASEAN is one, but mm -hmm. within ASEAN, we are the Mekong mm -hmm. growth center. But number two, I mean, the connectivity uh, between Cambodia and ASEAN country. Now we have direct flight to Jakarta now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, if you look at the, if you go to the airport, mm -hmm. you see the flight schedule, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's it's packed. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you can go to anywhere in ASEAN country. No visa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And within a short flying uh, distances, yes. right? Because, you know, you can fly basically to any Asia within uh, half an hour. Yes. To uh, four hours, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, you can fly. Four hours are uh, the longest. Yeah, longest in the, yeah, you yeah. know, but within uh, a couple of hours, yeah. you can hit all the major hubs. We could fly uh, in the morning to a mm -hmm. meeting in yeah. Singapore mm -hmm. and take the afternoon flight to have dinner at home. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's, it's logistically, yeah. uh, it's amazing. So, now. so I can say that Cambodia is well connected. Well connected, yes. well connected. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, within the region, yeah. and you know, so uh, mm. uh, you know, so uh, now I think executive have more flexibility. Mm. Um, they can come for meetings uh, in the morning and mm. go back uh, to yes. their homes. Yes, uh, and the other thing that we we forgot to mention is that uh, air connectivity is one thing, road mm. connectivity is one thing, but Haitian connectivity. Mm -hmm. We are rolling now, uh, preparing to move to 5G. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so this is awesome. Yeah. I mean, to have access to all the social media mm -hmm. app, right? Mm -hmm. You know, Telegram, WhatsApp, mm -hmm. Line. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, you know. I mean, when when mm -hmm. people fly to Bangkok or Singapore, mm -hmm. their fa family and didn't know that the the father is mm -hmm. going to a meeting there. Yeah, exactly. You see, yeah. so it it's it, this is great. I think. Cambodia should tap on all this uh, progress, on this technological progress, on this uh, uh, very assertive uh, regional integration policy. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. this yeah. is important to to be part of a uh, because we're sixteen million. Let's be real about mm -hmm. it. We're mm -hmm. too small a market yeah. to position on our own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to be linked to the. Sub-regional uh, connectivity, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. sub-regional supply chain, the mm -hmm. production chain. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, technology is amazing here. I mean, so that the connectivity technology is probably better than some other places mm. uh, in the region, right? Cambodia yeah. have a good uh, uh, mobiles connectivity, mm. right? Um, it's probably it's very mm. cheap. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. it's very cost effective compared to other country. Easy access. You can get any your you know, your SIM card, mm. you know, just right in the corner. That's so, it. Uh, you That's know, it. You, you walk in, you buy a SIM card, get the passport, and then you and get your SIM card. we have uh, fiber optic now. Yeah, fiber optic, which you is know, yeah, very, you know, optic. quality. The Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank just approved mm -hmm. a loan uh, to the Cambodian government, mm -hmm. $70 million, okay. for a fiber optic. Mm -hmm. And that will help roll out the 5G. Yeah. The five G is well, uh, you know, because uh, better, it's faster. Yes, the, uh, the, yeah. uh, the bandwidth is a lot bigger, so right than the four G. Well, uh, I think this link to the fourth industrial revolution. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. we have to catch up. We have to catch up with the industrial yes. uh, revolution uh, four point Yes, yes. Uh, you know, which is uh, is it's coming, hmm. right? Uh, we have to be prepared for it. And this is where the role of S E Z uh, special economic zone matter. Yes. Yes. Because it, it, it can be quite concentrated in terms of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Of course, the state have to be quite involved in that. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So, so I, if if I sort of like summarize what you you said in the last forty some minute, uh, a small investor would not make it. No. In in a special to no. move into a special economic zone. No. You got to have strong state backup. You got to have a strong. Uh, Mm -hmm. company, list company who mm -hmm. have experience. Experience, experience in the special economic zone is almost a requirement because mm. uh, uh, you do it, you have to understand the industry, mm. industry, manufacturing industry, mm. because you develop a special economic zone to cater mm. the industry, mm. right? Uh, uh, so a complex investor, mm. not not an average consumer, mm. a real estate buyer, right? Mm. So you have to understand that what you develop, mm. you, you have to understand the the industrial 
uh, progress, mm. right? What they need, what kind of infrastructure they need now, right? Mm. Um, and uh, where should your special economic zones uh, be mm. located? Mm. It's not that you have a piece of land, 50, and say, oh, I'll set up. Well, it have to be strategic location. Mm. You know, it have to be benefit in terms of supply chain connectivity, mm. logistics, and everything. So you have to look at strategic location, mm. why it's good for special economic zone. Mm. Not uh, not in other places at well because I do it because I have a hundred hectares, yeah, right? Yeah, they, yeah. They don't do it because uh, yeah, and, and yeah. you know, speaking of a uh, 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 infrastructure, you know, you have to think of the cost of electricity. Mm -hmm. If you choose the wrong location, mm -hmm. too far away from mm -hmm. the sub substation, mm -hmm. it costs more money. Exactly. But if yeah. you close your substation, you could have a better rate. Yeah, yeah. To pass on yeah. to 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 your ultimate. Uh, uh, factory yeah. owner, for yeah. example. Exactly, because uh, uh, you know, uh, leasing fee yeah. is not a major factor for investor manufacturer. When mm. the investors come in, they oh, uh, we don't want to talk about the uh, leasing fee, mm. right? But I want to talk about whether it's suitable for my investment, mm. the location in terms of strategic, in terms of labor, mm. in terms of uh, access, connectivity mm. to mm. Uh, to uh, international seaport. You know, airports, mm. accommodation for my executive uh, mm. living. So all this is not about okay, we we, we sell cheap land mm. or we lease cheap land. Mm. They don't really focus on that yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, in the past, uh, most of the Cambodian SDZ developer are more focusing on the real estate side of it. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not the best strategy. Yeah, and, and then they wonder why ultimately there's nobody moving in there. Yes. Know? Because if I move to a zone and I have to uh, take care of my own uh, electrical connection, what the hell? Mm -hmm. You know, if mm -hmm. I have to move to a zone and then I have to figure out, you know, where is my sewage exactly. you know, going to go, uh, I might as well be on my own. Exactly. Yeah. So, so it's very important that uh, it's not... Uh, uh, you have a piece of land, and then you want to convert it in special economic zone. Mm. You have to look at the industry perspective mm. uh, that you have to understand. Yeah. So, Let, uh, lastly, we run out of time, but uh, you know, like for example, the the uh, Cambodian uh, who who is now investing into the SME, mm -hmm. you know, economic zone. What mm -hmm. do you think of that? Well, I I think it's, it's very very because uh, when it comes to special economic zone, mm. uh, people perceive it as the uh, for major investor, mm. major player, mm. right? Mm. But uh, it's better to have the special economic zone is like a cluster mm. for SME, okay. because uh, it allows smaller company mm. to operate within the um, within the special economic zone with all the supporting. Uh, mm. infrastructure and services inside mm. uh, I think it's a good idea mm. but uh, we have to do it right you know because there there uh, there's SMA mm. uh, until this point I don't understand what is SMA right mm. because there's so many uh, mm. the, the, the definition there's no universal definition yes. so uh, in terms of SMA uh, you know I think we have to have a cluster mm. you know because uh, SMA uh, to stand alone is not mm. very cost efficient, yes, right? Yes. So if you stay with the support group within to provide them support with value added service, um, infrastructure support, service support on one so, spot. So, so you see the merit, There's merit for the government to push for this sort of a, a incentive? I would encourage that. Yeah, okay, good. good. Well, Sam, uh, thanks so much for Thank coming. Uh, we have a very engaging discussion and there's a lot of good point that you raise mm -hmm. that the particularly the investor the local investor uh, who are considering moving to that field have to think mm -hmm. you know uh, don't go on your own because you don't have uh, experience mm -hmm. if you look for partner better have somebody who have mm -hmm. deep pocket and experience for that. exactly so that's exactly. that that's what i exactly. i will remember from this discussion yeah. So, Tam, once again, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. And I look forward next time to have you back, perhaps uh, on uh, maybe on uh, airline industry, for example. For sure. For Why sure. Not, right? Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank thanks. you so much. Okay. Well, we're coming to the end of the show. I'm not going to summarize. I think we have a very good discussion. Uh, and I just hope that you enjoy the show. Thank you.